Welcome back to the Big Weekend Show. Well, about 48 hours ago, President Biden refused to take a cognitive test. Have you had the specific cognitive tests and have you had a neurologist, a specialist, do an examination? No, no one said I had to. No one said they said I'm good. Would you be willing to undergo an independent medical evaluation that included neurological and cognitive tests and release the results to the American people? Look, I have a cognitive test every single day. Every day I have that test. Comforting. Now fellow Democrats are also dodging questions on the issue. I don't really know what the, the, the substance of those tests are, or whether the measurement would be impactful for voters that have questions. I'd be happy if both the president and Donald Trump took cognitive tests. So that's tests. a yes. I believe that President Trump has taken more than one cognitive test. But we often talk about these issues with Joe and we say, well, I'm not a doctor. But guess <laughs> what? We have a doctor at the table. And so now all of our questions can be answered. Now, you haven't examined the president yourself. Right. But I asked you this earlier to get the tea from you off the record in the green room. But now, oh, but now want, it's coming on the record. I want on the record for the American people. When I heard him say that he won't take a cognitive test or he hasn't taken one because they told him he's good, that he doesn't need to. I asked you as a doctor, if you're a doctor and you look at Joe Biden or any man of his age, even if they're not showing those signs, would you say, nah, you don't need a cognitive test. You're good. You got up today. Well, so first of all, James Comer um, is actually calling for the president's physician to come be seen in front of yes. the oversight committee, questioning some of his medical ethics, but part of the business dealings, though, I'm sure we'll see more on that this coming week, um, next few weeks, actually. But so let's take President Biden out of this equation. Uh, Medicare actually recommends cognitive evaluations beginning at Medicare age, the age 65, every year when you have the annual physical, because you want to make sure that your patients are in the best physical physical and me mental fitness. And because if you can detect early signs of things, early detection is best. And that's when you can intervene and maybe, especially when it comes to you know, delay, you know, cog cognitive decline, there are some things we can do to maybe slow the progression. So of course they're going to recommend it because it is just an acceptable recommendation as people age, especially when it comes to President Biden, where we have seen every day, he likes to say, well, I have one every day. And unfortunately, Mr. President, that's why people are concerned because they're watching him every single day. They're watching his physical stumbles, his verbal stumbles, the gaffes, the difficulty with memory recall, you know, coming up with certain things. And so, you know, sometimes I forget things on air all the time. But I think people are growing concerned with him because it seems to be getting progressively worse. I mean, we go through these motions every single year that the president has his physical exam and it's a whole show. And then the, the, the physician puts together the health summary and they submit it for the American people to see. Look how fit our president is. He is so strong and able to be in the White House and deserves the title. Well, this gentleman happens to be of age where we would also recommend a cognitive exam, and they have never released that. Do I think that he's had one? I do. I'm sure he does. I'm sure the physicians know that he has shown some level of cognitive decline as he aged. Most people do. It actually happens at the age of 45. You can actually start it. So I'm sure they know about it. Um, but it is very unfair to the American people you know, not to let us know. But I think they also have concerns. If they put it in writing, if they actually come out and say right. that the president has this cognitive decline, I mean, that's a huge problem for them. And you are right, President Trump had two, he put, made the record public, two um, cognitive evaluations, which according to his doctors, he passed with flying colors, he likes to say. Right. Um, but I think he should be getting one every year as well. It's amazing. Feels like a big cover up going on here. But you know, we talk about this, Charlie, but there are some other folks on other networks that are also talking about this. And another part of that interview where George Stephanopoulos kind of questioned Joe Biden on if he were to lose to Donald Trump and, and what does he think? Is that being a possibility? This CNN contributor is very upset at the answer that Joe Biden gave in that interview. Let's take a listen to this. I don't know. I'm not sure what Democrats he's going to win right now. The entire thesis of the campaign, yeah. the entire thesis of the campaign was democracy's on the ballot. And when George Stephanopoulos asked him, well, if you lose and all these bad things come to pass, will you be OK with that? And he said, well, as long as we gave it our all. Now, if I was a Democrat who's been hasn't blinked since January of 2017 or one of these never Trumpers who's worried about all this, and I heard Joe Biden admit that it's all just a facade, that it's all just a talking point, I would be freaked out right now to find out there's no animating issue for this campaign. It's just a grift. 
So he's not necessarily a Democrat, but he is on CNN, and they're freely talking about it for really the first time. That debate opened the floodgates. But when you hear him say that, that this has all just been a grift if he's okay with losing, what do you make of that? Can you imagine if you're one of those few CNN viewers who are hearing this for the first time? And they're like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Shut I haven't heard it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I haven't heard it. Um, well, and of course, uh, Scott is exactly right about it. Um, it, it is a grift. Um, and uh, in terms of politics, I was fascinated with everything you said about the cognitive test, but in terms of politics, he had a huge cognitive test over the past six months called a Democrat primary. Now, they cheated on the Democrat primary to make sure that he would be the nominee, and they kept people like Dean Phillips and RFK from competing, competing in that primary, but they held, a, they, they held a primary, and Joe Biden got the nomination. He's got the nomination. He's going to be bequeathed the nomination because he earned the delegates uh, the, in August. And so to hear them now talk about how they're just going to take it all away from him because the polls don't look good for them is so shocking to me. And I think evidence of the contempt they have for democracy or elections or voters. Because as you point out, voters aren't going to have a say in this if they just jerk him out and go put in somebody else, even if they just make him step aside and have Kamala uh, step up because th they voted according to their process, which I think was janky, to put it kindly, um, they voted for Joe Biden to be president, not Kamala Harris. Well, my question for you, Joey, is how wild is this convention going to be? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, the, in order to save democracy, they rigged a primary to get Joe Biden a nomination, and now they're about to rig that to exactly. get it back away from him. That's where they are. Do you think this was all part of the plan? Or is that no, just me? The plan, was, <laughs> the plan was for Trump to be removed. That's what they thought would happen, is that Republicans would be doing And they thought he was the best shot they had at doing that. Yeah. Oh, how the cookie crumbles. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.